Rei Oahashi is a burned-out office worker at a small company with exploitative overtime. One evening, however, Rei's exhaustion catches up with her, and she passes away. When Rei opens her eyes again, she's reincarnated as Rei Taylor, the main character of her favorite Otome game, Revolution. Once she realizes this, she repeatedly expresses her love to Claire Francois, the villainess whom she has a massive crush on. Despite Claire's annoyance and her continued harassment, Ray is immensely turned on, to everyone's confusion. They encounter the three princes that attend the school, Rod, Yu, and Thane Bauer, the main love interests in the game, and Ray causes Claire to become flustered when she reveals she knows she has a crush on Thane. Later on, in an attempt to get rid of Ray, Claire challenges her to compete in the upcoming academic challenge. Ray beats Claire in the general curriculum, while Claire beats her in the etiquette exam. When the magic exam's results are announced, Ray is revealed to have an unmeasurable magic ability, shocking everyone. Claire is stunned to learn that the commoner, Ray, possesses two magical elements, something which intrigues Rod. Since Ray won the bet, due to the terms being that Claire did not win, her one demand is that Claire never give up, no matter what. Ray applies to be Claire's personal handmaid, and blackmails Claire's father using secret knowledge from the game to force him to approve her for the job, to Claire's irritation. Ray meets Lena Oruso, the family maid since Claire was a child, and they later go to a public bath together where Ray continues to tease Claire. At night, Claire confronts Ray on what she is really after, believing that no one could love someone with a personality such as hers. Ray continues her insistence she is attracted to both her looks and personality, and commits to making Claire believe that she is in love with her. Ray plays Rod in a game of chess and he narrowly beats her. Following this, Ray and Claire play a game of chess until Yu brings them into a game of poker, which he wins. Ray sets up the king game, with the goal of having Thane and Claire kiss, but Thane sees through it. Later, Ray's best friend Misha Yuer asks Ray if she is a lesbian, which she confirms. The two of them, Lena and Claire proceed to talk about sexual attraction and how people can be prejudiced. Ray states that she is happy to simply admire Claire every day, even though she knows that her feelings will never be reciprocated, wanting to support Claire's love of Thane. Internally, however, Ray admits to herself that despite wanting Claire to be happy, she still feels painful due to incidents in her past. Claire pours water on two female students she overhears criticizing Ray, and makes her feel better after saying that she still hates her. Ray and her class take part in an outdoors exercise where they practice their magic and learn more about their origins and aptitude from their teacher, Professor Torrid. A stray magic blast from one of the students hits a slime monster in hiding, causing it to run amok. Ray uses her earth magic to help Torrid keep the monster contained while everyone else attacks. However, it is ineffective and the slime starts picking the students up. Ray is among those captured, but Claire is able to break free and together with Thane, they successfully destroy the slime. Meanwhile, Ray finds a small slime in hiding, realizing that the large slime was the mother just protecting her child. She decides to adopt it, using a familiar pact and naming it, Ralair. She unintentionally disturbs a romantic moment between Claire and Thane, but feels happy when Claire inadvertently voices concern over Ray's safety. Later, Ray attempts to keep Ralair a secret, but is quickly discovered by Misha, and then Claire. Ray is able to convince Claire to let her keep Ralair, though she is told to reveal its existence to everyone. Ray, Claire, Misha, and the princes try out to join the Academy Knights, the school's version of the student council, and pass the written portion of the exam. Claire proposes another competition to Ray where if she fails the exam she must leave the academy, which Ray reluctantly agrees to. The practical exam begins as a series of one versus one magic battles. Thane defeats Yu, while Rod defeats Misha. The final battle is Ray versus Claire. Ray uses her earth magic to create a variety of shields to attack Claire and defend herself, using her knowledge of the game. She eventually wins the battle by trapping Claire in a deep hole, further enraging Claire when she realizes Ray had not even used her water magic. In the end, all six of them pass the exam anyway, as it was merely about demonstrating their raw abilities to Lorik, the captain of the knights. As a result of their deal, Ray simply asks Claire to make the same promise to never give up. The Academy Knights prepare for the upcoming Foundation Day Fair. Thanks to an offhand comment from Ray, Rod suggests a gender-swapped cafe where the guys dress as maids and the girls as butlers. Lambert, the knight's magical specialist and Lena's brother, requests Ray and Claire's help in investigating a suspicious figure that has been appearing in the kitchen at night. While spending the night there, Claire quickly realizes Ray is the ghost who has been secretly practicing her baking. 
She attempts to leave, but due to being too scared of the dark, she begrudgingly sleeps with Ray in the kitchen. Claire proceeds to dream about her past and how she wanted to spend more time with her mother, who was always busy with her royal duties. She ended up dying in a carriage accident, throwing Claire into despair due to the last words she said to her mother was that she hated her. Later, Ray creates sandwiches to serve at the cafe, using new recipes from Bromit. Lena deduces that Ray is the source of said recipes, having sold ones such as chocolate and mayonnaise to them. Ray has Lena keep the revelation a secret. The Academy Knights request Lena's help in training them to become servers for the Foundation Day Cafe. She ends up going overboard in her role as the instructor. The fair finally arrives and the Knights run their cafe. During one of her breaks, Ray has herself served by Claire, to the latter's annoyance. Ray ends up having to serve the snobby Prince Marcel of the Empire of Loro, an event from the game where she is constantly pestered until one of the princes intervenes. Instead, Claire appears and helps save her from the predicament. When Claire is on break, Ray takes her to explore the rest of the fair. A commoner named Matt approaches Ray seeking her support in their commoner movement to achieve equality between the royals and commoners, but she is pulled away by Claire. Ray gives Claire a necklace, causing Claire to once again ask why Ray is so interested in her, leading Ray to internally reflect how the stress of her past life pushed her to the brink until the game version of Claire saved her. Later, the girls learn that Yu's attendant Didi attacked Matt with his magic. Ray, Claire, and Misha learn from Matt that he got into an argument with Didi, who pulled out his wand and nearly burnt him alive with his magic. Elsewhere, Didi claims he only meant to threaten Matt. The knights inspect his wand for tampering, while protesting commoners begin to grow. The princes get into an argument over how to deal with the situation, causing them to theorize the spiritual church is behind the incident. While the knights attempt to calm things down, Didi's sentence is eventually revealed to be one week of house arrest, which sparks further dissension. That night, Ray uses her magic on Claire to put her to sleep, entrusting Lena to keep her safe in her room. Using her knowledge of the game, Ray confronts the true mastermind, Lambert, who orchestrated the events to steal a bell which can summon monsters. She figures out he is acting under the church's behalf, all to protect Lena, whom he is having an incestuous relationship with. Lena then appears and attempts to hold Claire hostage, but she awakens. Suddenly, a mysterious masked man Ray does not recognize arrives, repairs the bell she broke, and forces Lambert to activate it, awakening a nearby chimera. Ray acts as bait to lure the chimera away while Claire charges up a powerful magic blast, which successfully destroys it. The masked man suddenly reappears and tries to attack Claire, but Thane jumps in and saves her. The masked man disappears as Thane is revealed to be seriously poisoned by his attack. Ray uses her knowledge of the game to heal Thane. Lena and Lambert are arrested by the knights awaiting their impending execution due to treason. The commoner movement is disbanded, the rioting ceases upon the revelations, and Ray and Claire are invited to receive a reward from the king as thanks for saving the day. They use the opportunity to humbly request that Lena and Lambert's lives be spared due to them also being victims. While this is initially met with trepidation, with Thane's help, the king chooses to exile them instead. As Lena and Lambert head out to leave the country, Ray and Claire say their goodbyes to the former, with Ray giving her some recipes, and Claire declaring that they will see each other again. After they are gone, Ray comforts a distraught Claire. Ray has been struggling to cheer Claire up since Lena left. Just then, Claire learns that her childhood friend, Manaria Seuss, has transferred into the Royal Academy after having lost out in the succession in her kingdom. Manaria proceeds to become extremely popular, in particular amongst the girls, and especially Claire, who acts very affectionate towards her. Ray is jealous of Manaria due to her role in the game being just to keep Claire busy with the princes. However, Manaria becomes increasingly intrigued by Ray and her actions. When Rod challenges Manaria to a duel, she demonstrates her incredible abilities as not only a quadcaster, but also being capable of using spell-breaking magic. The group later discuss amongst themselves about a magical ceremony inspired by an old poem which people use to determine who they would get married to. Ray's jealously reaches a boiling point after Claire states she prefers Manaria over her, which is further exacerbated when Manaria starts openly flirting with Claire. Ray is forced to deal with Manaria as she continues to spend more time with Claire. The knights begin preparing for the Amur ceremony, in which two people compete for another's affection by examining the weight of two objects on a magical artifact. Claire's friends, Loretta and Pepe, attempt to warn Ray about Manaria based on rumors they have heard about her. Manaria later confronts Ray about her feelings for Claire, 
believing she is just being a coward and making excuses to not get hurt. To test her resolve, Manaria challenges Rei to a magical duel. Despite giving it her all, Rei is brutally defeated by Manaria in battle by her domination attack. As Manaria heals Rei, she notices Claire's horrified reaction. When Claire confronts Rei about her foul mood, Rei reveals the duel was to determine who was worthy to be with her. Claire is outraged over this revelation, and in response, Rei angrily quits her job as a maid, which Claire bluntly accepts. Rei runs off, regretting what she just did, while Claire is secretly upset about the situation. Manaria furiously confronts Rei over abandoning Claire, criticizing her lack of true resolve. She reveals how she was in love with her maid, but after driving her away due to her heavy advances, proceeded to frequently visit brothels in a vain attempt to satisfy her desires. Manaria decides Claire will be her next target, spurring Rei on to challenge her to compete in the Amur ceremony. Rei and Ralair take on several requests fighting monsters in order to find a certain item. On the day of, Manaria presents the Flower of Flora and declares her love for Claire. Rei then returns and presents a supposed twig, which suddenly grows into a massive tree, winning the competition. As Rei declares her love for Claire, Manaria reveals she has been in love with Rei all along. When she attempts to kiss Rei, Claire instinctively declares that Rei is hers, before embarrassingly trying to deny it. Manaria later heads back home to her kingdom after the first prince dies. Before she leaves, Manaria questions who Rei really is, due to her secret knowledge of the game, while Rei realizes Manaria purposefully played the role of the bad guy in order to get her and Claire to become closer with each other. Rei and Claire return back to their class, with Claire now calling Rei by her name. If you enjoyed this recap, make sure to check out another one on your screen. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Goodbye.